Hi, today we will discuss two functions called first and follow. And these two functions are very much helpful in constructing top down parser as well as bottom up parser. And in today's disc uh, discussion, I have included the definition of first and follow and algorithm used to construct first of a string and also included one example. And algorithm used to construct follow will discuss in some other video. And let us see what is a first of alpha. First of where alpha is a string formed by using grammar symbols. That means alpha is formed by using symbols from the terminal set as well as from non-terminal set. We can compute first of alpha. In first of alpha is a set. It is a set consists of terminal symbols alone and which occur as first symbols in strings derived from alpha and we know where alpha is a string of grammar symbols. So the word itself first of alpha the word itself indicate that it is something what a first of okay so first of alpha is the first terminal symbols appeared in the string derived from alpha for example if alpha derive epsilon by using zero or more number of steps then epsilon belongs to first of alpha and if alpha derive a string of the form a capital a and b and this is a string you can see that the first symbol in this right side is small letter a it's a terminal symbol then a belongs to first of alpha because alpha deriving a string a small letter a capital a ter a and b so in small letter a is the first terminal symbol it is appearing in the right side of the derivation and alpha is deriving so that is why the terminal symbol a belongs to first of alpha it is the first symbol and look at what is the follow how you can define follow of see here follow of a non terminal here we are defining follow of a non terminal it's not a string where a is a non terminal and follow of a is a set of non terminals which occur immediately after the non terminals a in the string derived from the starting symbol probably it is yes our starting symbol probably we will use yes to indicate that means suppose you are deriving a string that string should be derived from starting symbol yes and suppose that string contain capital A then we need to check what is the next symbol immediately after capital A if it is a terminal symbol then that terminal symbol symbol belongs to follow of A here you can see one example where A belongs to follow of A because starting symbol S derive a string alpha a small letter a beta where small letter a is a terminal symbol and which is appearing immediately after capital a so that is why this a follow capital a so that's why a belongs to follow of a it is a follow of a is a set so a belongs to follow of a See another example suppose dollar dollar is a 
end marker probably we will use dollar as the end marker of the input string then if dollar is in follow of capital a if starting symbol yes derive a string alpha capital a and capital a is the last non terminal symbols in this string and after capital a nothing is there so we will put dollar where dollar is the end marker is in the follow of the set capital a here both follow of a and first of a is a set of terminal symbols first of a is a set of terminal symbols follow of a is also a set of terminal symbols and next thing is how to compute first of a look at there is an algorithm that algorithm we can use to compute first of a any string x here this algorithm is used for computing first of a string x there are five steps is very simple look at first step is if x is a terminal symbol then first of x is equal to set x since x is a terminal symbol second step if x is a non terminal symbol and x derive epsilon sorry x gives epsilon is a production present in the grammar then epsilon belongs to first of x we know that x derives epsilon that's why epsilon belongs to first of x and capital x is a non terminal symbol single symbol then third step is if x is a non terminal symbol and x gives y1 y2 etc etc y n is a production rule present in the grammar g grammar g then you can apply this to to compute what is the first of x if a cap small letter a belongs to first of y i and epsilon belongs to first of y j for all j is equal to 1 comma 2 comma etc comma i minus 1 then small letter a belongs to first of x second rule is if epsilon belongs to first of y j for all j is equal to 1 comma 2 comma etc n then epsilon belongs to first of x then what is the meaning of that very simple so the condition is step 3 step 3 i am telling here x is a non terminal x is a non terminal and x gives y1 y2 etc etc yn is a production okay it is a production is a production then then we need to compute first of y1 first of y2 etc etc first of yn then when to compute look at everything in first of y1 first of y1 we have computed and everything in first of y1 except epsilon because first of y1 is a set so everything in first of y1 except epsilon belongs to first of x and everything in first of y2 minus epsilon that means except epsilon belongs to first of x if 
first of y1 contain epsilon this is a condition with a condition we need to do if epsilon present in first of y1 that is a condition very important condition and this will continue like everything in first of y3 except epsilon belongs to first of x if epsilon present in first of y1 and first of y2 and everything in first of y4 belongs to first of x except epsilon if first of y1 contain epsilon first of y2 contain epsilon first of y3 contain epsilon that is what this rule is telling first of y1 contain a and epsilon is present in okay this is a yi okay yi so we reached yi assume that yi i th symbol yi so that a contain first of yi then all first of yj ij is j is from 1 to i minus 1 contain epsilon then we can add a into first of x and when we can add epsilon into first of x if all symbol first of y1 first of y2 first of yn we need to compute and all such a set to contain epsilon then we can add epsilon into first of yi sorry first of x see look at here epsilon that is this one indicating epsilon is present in first of yj where j is from 1 2 3 etc n that means all first of yi yj we need to compute j is from 1 to n so everywhere epsilon is there then we can add epsilon into first of x this is what the third rule and look at fourth rule fourth rule you can see if x is epsilon then first of x is equal to epsilon okay very simple x is epsilon a string epsilon then first of x contain only epsilon okay then next fifth step is if x is y1 y2 etc yn then the rule is telling if a belongs to first of yi and epsilon belongs to first of yj for all j is from 1 to i minus 1 then a belongs to first of x same as same that of uh, third uh, 3.1 this rule third 3.1 same rule here we can apply like here epsilon is present in all symbols sorry all first set like first of y1 contain epsilon first of y2 contain epsilon etc first of yj contain epsilon and capital sorry small letter a belongs to first of yi then you can add a into first of x another 5.2 you can see if epsilon belongs to first of yj for all j is equal to 1 to etc n then you can add epsilon into first of x that means see first of y1 contain epsilon first of y2 contain epsilon first of y3 contain epsilon etc 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 first of y n also contain epsilon then you can add first of epsilon into first of x every were in first set to contain epsilon then you can add epsilon into x that is what 5.2 so this is the algorithm simple algorithm total five steps are there so this algorithm we can use to compute first of a string okay let us see how we can compute with a concrete example see this is the example this is a very famous grammar and this grammar is known as arithmetic expression grammar this is a famous i already told this is a famous grammar and here this grammar is written after removing left equation and left factor the grammar is left affected that is why e gives t e dash and e dash gives plus t e dash and epsilon or epsilon 
t gives f t dash t dash gives star f t dash or epsilon and f gives within bracket e or id so this is the grammar and here you can see that non terminals are e e dash t t dash and f terminal symbols are plus star left bracket right bracket and id so look at here here one by one we can compute what are the first set first of plus plus is a terminal symbol and which contain only plus nothing else then first of star star is a terminal symbol so first of star contain only star first of left bracket and left bracket is a terminal symbol so left bracket first of left bracket contain only left bracket and first of right bracket right bracket is a terminal symbol so only right bracket first of id where id is a terminal symbol so first of id contain only one symbol in the set and first of epsilon epsilon is a string so first of epsilon as per our rules telling fourth step in the algorithm is telling first of epsilon is epsilon alone set contain epsilon yes that is about terminal symbols and look at here here we can see all non terminal symbols in first of within bracket e and what is e e is a non terminal symbol e is a non terminal symbol so if it is a non terminal symbols then we need to do the rule two we will check two whether x is a non terminal symbol then x gives epsilon then epsilon belong to first of x we will check it yes e gives so there is no production where e gives epsilon is there no no there is no production available so two we can't apply then three if x is a non terminal symbol and first of x sorry x gives y1 y2 etc yn such a rule is there okay we will check it yeah e gives t e dash is there t and e dash is there so that is a here i will write e gives t e dash okay two symbol t and e dash so we want to compute what is the for computing first of e we want to compute what is the first of t and what is first of e dash okay so computing first of t is there first of t again we know that first of t means t use t use epsilon is not there then t use f t dash is there so to compute first of t we need to compute first of f and first of t dash okay fine so t use f t dash then again f first of f we want to compute so for computing first of f is there first of f we want to compute means we will check whether first uh, sorry f derive epsilon is there no it's not there because f is a non terminal so what we will do we have a production f gives within bracket e e f gives within bracket e is there so f gives within bracket e so the symbols are this is y1 this is y2 this is y3 okay these are the three symbols in the right side y1 y2 and y3 so computing first of f we need to compute what is first of left bracket so already we computed first of left left bracket we know that it is a set contain only left bracket so first of f is a set contain epsilon sorry first uh, first of f is a set contain only left bracket because no need to compute second symbol because first symbol does not contain epsilon so we can stop there okay so so far by using this production we will get only left bracket but with respect to f we have one more production f gives id 
so f key side e is another production so here this is the y1 so computing first of f we need to compute what is first of id so first of id which is also computed we know that first of id is equal to set contain id okay so two symbol we will get one is left bracket second one is id so here we can write set left bracket and id these are the two symbols okay, next one once we compute first of f we can compute we can try to compute t because t gives f t dash is there so this is what y1 this is what y2 so first of so computing first of t we need to compute first of f in first of t dash and already we computed first of f which is left bracket and id then the rule telling that first of t contain everything in first of f except epsilon so everything in first of f everything in first of f is what left bracket and id except epsilon because epsilon is not there so no need to remove epsilon from here because epsilon is not there so left bracket and id belongs to first of t and we need to compute first of t dash only when first of f, f contain epsilon if epsilon is not there in the first symbol look at there there is no epsilon no need to compute first of t dash so first of t contain everything in first of f except epsilon union first of f contain epsilon we need to compute first of t dash since first of f contain no epsilon no need to compute first of t dash so first of t contain only left bracket and id okay then first of t is available then we can check whether we can compute first of e so computing first of e we need to compute first of t as well as first of e dash so already we computed first of t first of t contain left bracket and id then as per our rule telling first of e contain everything in first of t dash except epsilon so here i will write everything like left bracket and id except epsilon yeah correct except epsilon we are written and we need to compute first of e dash only when first of t contain epsilon but first of t contain no epsilon so no need to compute first of e dash so first of e contain only left bracket and id okay so that is finished then next thing is we are computing first of e, already we computed first of f first of t and first of e dash the next we will compute what is first of e dash first of e dash if you want to compute then you can see that there are two production belongs to e dash e dash gives plus t e dash and epsilon these are the two productions so first we come we want to compute first of e dash we need to compute first of plus okay we know first of plus is a set contain only plus so as per our rule first of e dash contain everything in first of plus except epsilon so here we can write plus except epsilon because in first of plus there is no epsilon so no need to include epsilon since first of plus there is no epsilon no need to compute first of t and first of e dash if epsilon is there we need to compute first of t dash sorry first of t okay fine the next thing is e dash gives epsilon is there so as per our rules telling if e dash gives epsilon is there then first of e dash contain epsilon epsilon okay yeah so that is also our plus and epsilon plus and epsilon then okay once e dash is ready then we can think of first of t dash so what is for first of t uh, first of t dash so there are two production related to t dash one is t gives plus sorry star f t dash or epsilon so here i will write 
ടി ഡാഷ് ഗ്യൂസ് സ്റ്റാർ എഫ് ടി ഡാഷ് ആൻഡ് എഫ്സലോൺ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ഹിയർ വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു ഫോർ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടിംഗ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടി ഡാഷ് വി നീഡ് ടു കമ്പ്യൂട്ട് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റാർ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റാർ ഈസ് വി നോ ദാറ്റ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റാർ യു ഓൾറെഡി കമ്പ്യൂട്ടഡ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് സ്റ്റാർ എലോൺ ദെൻ ആസ് പെർ അവർ റൂൾ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടി ഡാഷ് കണ്ടിൻ എവറി തിങ് ഇൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റാർ എക്സെപ്റ്റ് അപ്സലോൺ സോ ഹിയർ വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർ ദെൻ ഹിയർ ദർ ഈസ് നോ അപ്സലോൺ സോ നോ നീഡ് ടു കമ്പ്യൂട്ട് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് എഫ് ദെൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടി ഡാഷ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് കണ്ടൈൻ അപ്സലോൺ ദെൻ വി നീഡ് ടു കമ്പ്യൂട്ട് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് എഫ് ദിറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ റൂൾ യാ ദെൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് തിങ് ഈസ് വൺ മോർ വൺ മോർ പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഈസ് ദർ ടി ഗ്യൂസ് അപ്സലോൺ If T gives epsilon, sorry, T dash gives epsilon, then you can say that, you can tell that first of T dash contain epsilon. So here one more symbols will come. Okay, so over two production. So two symbols we got, star and epsilon. So this is what first set of the terminal symbol. First of E is equal to left bracket ID. First of E dash is equal to plus E dash plus epsilon. First of T is a left bracket ID. first of t is a set containing star and epsilon first of f is left bracket and id okay that is over the next one is how to compute first of a string of the form t e dash first of t e dash if you want to compute we need to first we need to compute what is first of t already we computed our first of t is left bracket and id which is equal to left bracket and id okay so our rule telling that first of t e dash contain all symbols in first of t except epsilon so we will write left bracket and id is so the two symbols which is not epsilon so we are included in first of t e dash union then if first of t contain epsilon then we need to compute first of e dash but there is no need to compute first of e dash because uh, first of e dash does not contain sorry first of t does not contain epsilon so first of t e dash contain only two symbols which are left bracket and id okay no need to compute the next one is here first of plus t e dash first of plus t e dash so first of plus t e dash if you want to compute you need to compute first of plus first of plus is already computed which is equal to plus so first of plus t e dash contain everything in first of plus except epsilon so everything means plus will come epsilon is is not there so epsilon will not come then e first of plus does not contain epsilon no need to compute first of t and first of e dash also since first of first of plus t e dash is a set consist of only plus because first of plus does not contain epsilon so it this set first, first of plus t e dash does not contain any other symbols only plus next thing is first of f t so computing first of ft means first we need to compute what is first of f first of f already we computed which is equal to left bracket and id so first of f left bracket and id so how to compute first of ft symbol first we will check what are the symbols in first of f yeah two symbols so add that two symbols left bracket and id and first of f does not contain epsilon so no need to compute first of t so then first of ft contain only these two symbols next thing is first of star f t dash then first of star f t dash means first we need to compute what is first of star first of star is only star there is no epsilon so there is no epsilon means no need to compute first of f in first of t dash so first of star f t dash contain only star the next one is first of left bracket e right bracket here 
one, two, three symbols are there. So the first symbol, so first of left bracket is only left bracket. So as per our rules, is telling that first of left bracket is present in this first of within bracket E left bracket will come and look at this first of left bracket does not contain epsilon so no need to compute first of E so first of left bracket E right bracket contain only the symbol this one so that is about all terminal symbols so we have calculated first of terminal symbols first of non terminal symbols then first of few strings t dash plus t dash f t first, first of star f t dash first of left bracket e and t dash so uh, this set is required for top down passing and sometimes in bottom up passing also because this will help to decide which protection to use for expanding a terminal sorry a non terminal symbol for a given input okay so later we will discuss how to compute follow of a non-terminal symbols so thank you for watching the video